hey everybody and welcome back to another video this is vlogmas day 12. so today's video is actually a collab video with the life of stacy j you guys check out her channel her link will be down below i love her channel she is a mom a young mom of four kids she is a military wife y'all she i just love how real her content is and her babies are so beautiful so make sure you check them out her link will be down below so let's go ahead and get into the video so this video like i said is a tag video and it's called the perfect the perfect subscriber tag questions y'all when i read this i was like this low key is juicy because i've always like had my opinion like being a like a creator like a content creator you are like low-key kind of picky on who you subscribe to and just hold on y'all hold on y'all before y'all come from my throat let me explain um people you enjoy like you vibe with most likely you are going to subscribe to them but if they're a person that never uploads like their last upload was like four or five months ago you're probably not going to subscribe because why like you got my hopes up and then now you gone like no i'm not going to subscribe but anyway anyway i didn't tell too much let's go ahead and get to the question so the first question is do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel video or try a few videos first so me personally I do look at a few of the videos. I'm not gonna lie, I watch maybe one or two. Um, it's very rare, but I will like subscribe right away. Like if I find a channel I really like, I'll subscribe right away. But generally speaking, I will watch a video or two just to kind of get like vibes. Like okay, is, is this person something, someone I would really watch, like I would want to see them and um, my subscriptions or not before I go ahead and subscribe. So typically I just have to watch a couple of videos. So that is question number one. Question number two, does the make sure you subscribe mantra either sway you to, sway you to subscribe? Honestly, I'm gonna just be 100% honest it doesn't because i don't really like i'm one of those people if my mind is already made up my mind is already made up like it just kind of is what it is so people can say it but that don't mean nothing to me it just doesn't <laughs> all right question number three how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? Ooh, y'all, I don't know. A lot. I'm not gonna lie, a lot because I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. Um, some are more like informational channels that I have a button on, uh, the bell on for. And some are just like vloggers I like to watch. I prefer vloggers. I will watch a vlogger's channel like look at my channel y'all i'm a vlogger okay i'm not into hair i'm not into uh makeup so i don't i'm not subscribed to any of those kind of channels like maybe one or maybe two but i really don't watch channels like that so yeah next question do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites only my favorites like i said i am subscribed to a lot of channels so a lot of this there's a lot of stuff on my subscription fee feed y'all can't talk a lot of stuff on my subscription feed i would probably like ignore or scroll through depending on what it is or I'd be like i'm gonna save that to watch later at a later date because of blah 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 question number five how many channels do you never miss an upload for it no matter how busy you are oh that's a good one um uh i don't know i would say 
it has to be around five it has to be out of all because i i'm pretty sure once i look on my desktop it says that i'm like subscribed to like over 200 people counting the ones bailey has subscribed me to okay i'm just saying um so but there's only a few particular like i said i love vlogs like i'm a total like i want to watch all the vlogs um type of person so um valencia's life is definitely one of them that i i need to watch every single one of like every single one and who else probably y'all and don't come for me because y'all like i know i know this is coming taryn you watch her like she she kind of like all over the place you watch her yes i watch her because i don't feel like you can really judge someone's life from this like this what y'all watch is small portions of reality like real small portions of reality so just leave it at that y'all really get to make up whatever you want out of the information given in these videos so let's just be 100 but um lives life i do not miss really any of those videos well i haven't watched like maybe the last two of her videos but generally speaking i do enjoy her channel uh got her hair generally speaking i do really enjoy her channel like i'm just gonna be completely honest i do because i don't know like some of her vibes like she could be a bit much but i like her channel so valencia's life lives life um the bells who else of course the person i'm collabing with y'all i love i love her channel like but anyway um so next question is what kind of commenter commenter are you i guess like how like do you comment on people's channel so for me personally i just it really depends like if I feel like people in the comments are coming for that particular YouTuber or person, I'm like, y'all really need to chill because when I feel like only another content creator can think about it in the sense people feel like they know your complete life. They can read you off of everything, but realistically speaking, things are edited and you can make something seem like it's completely different than what it was right so that's why when people um like on love and hip-hop it was like i didn't like the way you edited that blah 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 you guys they're not saying this for no reason you literally can edit something to make it something else it's really that simple like that's why people are going nuts like getting certain things done like y'all do realize like a lot of these instagram models like their pictures are edited like things are edited so don't get on social media and think things are perfect or things are like horrible everyone has a real life like a real real life outside of the internet and also i hate when people like sit there and praise other youtubers or influencers like everybody is a human so i'm always the like i guess defender or if you just like i like your your vlog or like i feel like i can kind of like uh what's the word relate i will let that be known like i can relate like i've been through something similar to that so yeah do you skip ads or watch um b100 i skip the ads it's very rare that i watch the ad intentionally unless yeah it's just rare do you speed up videos ah depends not really to be honest with you i really don't like if i'm watching it either i will watch the whole video through or i'll just go watch something else nine do you click affiliated links or use affiliated codes i haven't so i guess that's a no i see them but i haven't what's your preference when it comes to video length your sweet spot 
So if I see anything over 27 minutes or 25 minutes, I don't really care who the YouTuber is. I ain't watching it. Like I'm, I'm probably not gonna watch it through. I probably will read the comments, see if somebody put a tent, a timestamp. I guess that would be skipping through, but I'm probably not gonna watch it unless it's like very intriguing. I might. Like I watch a lot of sermons and they obviously be like longer than an hour. But to me, I think 15 to 20 minutes is a really good length of a video and I will definitely watch it all the way through. And so the next question is, do you thumbs up most videos? Yeah, I honestly, I do. I don't thumbs, like I thumbs up. If I like the video, if I really do like the video, I will give it a thumbs up. Like, and that's for most of the people I watch, like regularly. Is, do you ever thumbs down a video? Y'all, honestly, I don't. I think that's, I just don't. Like, if I don't like the video, I just ain't gonna continue to watch it. I'm just gonna click off of it and like bounce, like, or maybe I ain't even watched it to begin with. I ain't no hater. I'm not gonna thumbs down a video, but that's just me personally. And very last question. Do you share other YouTubers' videos on your social media? I'm not really sure what they mean by that like completely sure what they mean like like I said I watch a lot of vloggers vloggers on YouTube so I really don't share those videos like I just watch them and just keep it moving unless it's like a really inspirational video I will share it um probably not on social media like I'll private message it to a person like if I know you and I know this would benefit you like I love watching inspiration uh from not Stevie J that boy is not inspirational um Steve Harvey I love watching his uh inspirational motivational speeches so I do send a lot of those out like I'll share it or like something from Fantasia because I love how she uh includes her um her relationship with god in her life and who she is as a person so i do share some of that but videos like i don't know like not everyone likes to watch vlog channels and i love vlog channels like so no i don't i guess Whew. well all right you guys so this is the end of the video if you stuck it out give me a thumbs up in the comments down below i'm checking for you yes give me give me a thumbs up in the comment down below also make sure you are checking out the life of stacy j her link will be in the description box below i stay blessed you guys stay encouraged and you stay in the word honey bye y'all <laughs>